What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Dre King James back at it with another video. I, I like the green screen effect because it's good gangster nigga. Anyway, <laughs> this is my YouTube channel. Go ahead, click on that subscribe button, hit that like, click on that bell notification, and the social media links be down in the description box below, man. It'd be awesome if y'all can do that. Y'all know y'all can follow directions. Y'all ain't gotta be shy to so do that shit. Anyway, um. Weeding the cut, right? And I'm late about the uh, Gorilla Glue being used in this one bitch's hair. Well, why bitches be stupid? Boy, if you don't... And I I was like, I heard it on TikTok or what's the IG? I'm not sure. It was one of those babies um, was saying, I feel so sorry for her. I don't. I do not feel sorry for this bitch because she's stupid. Anyway... What's this about Gorilla Glue being used as hairspray? <laughs> oh my God, man. Oh my God. That's how bitches be saying God. They say God. The G-U-D? What the fuck? That's not, that's not how it's spelled. Anyway, stories of beauty dupes often bring delight, but things can get dark when a swap goes horribly wrong. Such a cautionary tale emerged last week when a woman with hopes of sleek style learned that a spray nozzle with promises of heavy duty hold does not a hairspray make what fuck it <laughs> i'm gonna arrive at that sentence here's what we know so far about the unfortunate mistake unfortunate uh, unfortunate mistake Made by the woman who has since been dubbed Gorilla Glue Girl. What happened? Okay. She was 40 years old. So she was lit. She was my age range. I'm 38. But still, she older than me. And she knows better. She old as fuck. Why the fuck Gorilla Girl? Well, she's not a girl. She's a woman. But she thinks like a girl. Anyway, last week, 40-year-old Tessica. Fuck these bitches' names. Tessica Brown. Or is it Tessica? Tessica? That sounds like a car model. Anyway. Of Louisiana revealed... Southern bitch. Louisiana revealed on social media that a month ago, she ran out of her trusty got-to-be... got-to-be glued blasting freeze spray. It's probably hair gel in a can or aerosol can as i think that's what it is a hairspray so strong paulie d and his immovable coof vouched for it when brown hit empty she decided to seal her style with gorilla glue spray adhesive instead of a permanent moisture resistant heavy duty adhesive meant for fabric paper wood plastic cardboard foam Metal and more. That sounds like an advertisement. I swear. What the fuck? This is her um, IG. <laughs> okay. Let's read this shit. Oh, read. That's, okay, here. Her hair look like she just put tar on it. <laughs> likes. Oh man, it really don't move. Gorilla glue spray count y'all day. Oh, and let's, let's read on with the article. Unfortunately, Brown learned that hair on a human head is not included in and more. 
In the past month, she washed her hair, which is permanently stuck in the ponytail 15 times and as stiff as ever. It's like finding some stiff drawers behind a dresser. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> in another video, Brown slathers on some Pantene shampoo, which simply sits on the surface of her scalp. You just saw it. D despite vigorous rubbing before being swiped away to reveal an even glossier hardened hair that hasn't bulged. Why does he use furniture glue? Many people online have hypothesized fuck it if I'm saying that word wrong, that perhaps Brown mistakenly took Gorilla Glue for a cult favorite styling gel, Mocha de Gorilla, a.k.a. Gorilla Snot. I haven't heard that shit. I'm a boy. See, I go to the barbershop. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to the barbershop Saturday. Get my shit lined up, you know, whatever. Um, Like Gorilla Glue, Mocha de Gorilla comes in a bright yellow and orange packaging Features a picture of a gorilla and is known for its holding power. Got to be, got to be glued spray also promises a spike cement finish and rock hard hair. So perhaps Brown felt felt comfortable leveling up to the Lowe's gray formula. We sell that shit. I think it's like ten bucks. Gosh, yeah, because we did a reset on some gorilla glue on them aisles. I think, yeah, no, that was, um, fuck it, that, was that no, that was the fucking, the black shit that you, um, you do tiles, anyway, I don't know, <laughs> uh, rock hair, what, did I say that already, I got, okay, in the ongoing reporting of the now week-long saga, TMZ says, sources tell them Brown felt it was okay because of the product, Gorilla Glue, said multi-use and brown recently told entertainment tonight et she had gorilla glue on hand because she used it before a non-hair a non-hair materials and it worked pretty well she figured it would be fine in a pinch is it still in her hair yes brown says that she turned to social media that's how business is dumb enough they always go to social media how come you didn't like I don't know. You got some best friend? I hope she's smart. She could tell you that, no, this is Gorilla Glue. This is not for hair. Or your mom or, I don't know, but I said grandma died out. There ain't no grandma. I'm lucky enough to have a grandmother. I don't know if she could have a, she could talk to her grandmother or a mom or an aunt or a sister, an older sister or whatever. I don't know. Fuck. Let's, let's keep it moving. Hold on. Um... <laughs> If Brown says he turned to social media for advice on how to get rid of her forever ponytail. Her first attempt involving coconut oil and tea tree oil was an epic fail. Next, she followed the advice of a dermatologist on TikTok who recommended using acetone to break the glue's bond. Okay, okay, the, okay. Acetone to break the glue's bonds or turning the goo gone adhesive remover. On Saturday, Brown posted a photo of the emergency room entrance at St. Bernard Paris Hospital, followed by a slideshow of hospital pics and clips of an at home removal attempt to set the song Prom Cream by Molly Kate Kessner. Excuse me. Brown also posted the full soundtrackless. Ex oh, excruciating two minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, excuse me, 245 minute video of the process on YouTube. Oh, we, got, ooh, we got another video here. Hold on, let me mute my mic. They got that was sort. That was sort right there. Don't want to get dinged on YouTube for using that music. Or maybe I can put a voice over, make the lyrics sound squeaky. Anyway, that was the process. 
Okay, this is awkward. Uh, has Gorilla gone? Oh, excuse me. Has Gorilla Glue said anything? On Monday, the brand tweeted its condolences. This came after TMZ reported Brown spent 22 hours in the ER where the healthcare workers applied acetone to her hair, which burned her scalp. Did she go and wear some rigs from now on, I guess? Um, where healthcare workers apply acetone you know, to her hair, which burned her scalp, the only, and only made the glue gooey before hardening back up. Outlet claimed that Brown hired an attorney and was weighing litigation against Gorilla Glue because while the products label warns against use on eyes and skin or clothing, it does not it does not miss in hair. Yes, um, yet on Tuesday Brown told E T C never ever said that. She's never what? Brown told E T C she's never ever said that. But the common that's why common sense is a dying breed, people. Use your common sense. Gorilla glue is not for hair. If you had the fucking common sense, if you buy the shit from Lowe's, a Home Depot, or even Walmart, and it's in the fucking glue aisle, nine times out of ten, common sense would tell you is okay. I'm not in the hair department, so it's not for fucking hair. But just use your common sense. I don't give a fuck how well you fucking justify. My, the whole that whole shit common sense would tell you it's not for fucking hair it's not my fault you a dumbass and i'm not apologizing because everything i'm saying i'm saying on purpose anyway gorilla glue did a tweet we are very sorry to hear about your unfortunate incident that miss brown express experience using our spray of adhesive on her hair we are glad to see in her recent video that Ms. Brown has received medical treatment for her, from her local medical facility and risk her the best. And see, oh, we got some sitting red. I mean, orange. <laughs> red, orange. <laughs> Sorry. They both warm colors. We are aware of the situation and we are very sorry to hear about... Sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you please repeat it? I didn't ask you for nothing, Siri. What the hell? We are aware of the situation and we are very sorry to hear about the unfortunate incident that Ms. Brown experienced using our spray adhesive on her hair. Blah, blah, blah. Our adhesive states in the warning label do not swallow, do not get in eyes or skin or clothing. It is used for crafts, home, auto, office projects to mount things on surfaces such as paper, cardboard, wood, laminate, and fabric. Oh, man. And the list goes on. Oh, shit. Okay. I can read. I, I, okay. I can finish reading that shit. Anyway, is Brown getting any help? Since airing her struggle, Brown has gone viral. Her original admission now has 24.9 million views on TikTok. As of Wednesday, the GoFundMe, oh yeah, she posted a GoFundMe just to pay off her hospital bills. She reached that goal of $1,500. All right. She raised almost 18000 So that's good. You know, she got her hospital bills paid up for that, you know, stint to the hospital. Then Chance the Rapper, see, he tweeted, I'm glad MF's actually supporting her through this. When I watched the video the second time, it was hard to laugh because I could tell shorty genuinely didn't know she had put one of the words oh excuse me she didn't know she had put one of the world's most powerful adhesives in her shit i hope she recovers well well chance the rapper is a better fucking person than i am because he got more compassion i'm not gonna have compassion of stupidity and shit that's on the rail right there and blah blah blah. What's next? I'm not reading all that shit. It's gonna be in, uh, this link will be cited, and I'm gonna put this article in my description box below. You wanna read that shit? Go ahead. But goddamn, nigga, this is fucking crazy. Bitches be using glue that's for crafts and shit that's not supposed to be in hair in your hair. I I don't feel sorry for her. I don't because that's stupid. That fuck. You shouldn't be sorry for stupid people's mistakes, especially if that person know, should know better. Go to Sally's. Sally's Hair Supply, whatever that fucking store called. You can fucking go there. 
Don't go to fucking Lowe's or Walmart or fucking, um, I think you can buy Gorilla Glue anywhere, like Walgreens or whatever. Go to Sally's Hair Supply, Beauty Supply, whatever the fuck it's called. All right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hit that like button if you liked it. Social media links will be down in the description box below. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell notification button, baby, because I'm lit. Anyway, bye, babies. Boy, if you don't.